So all of these things are the benefits of being social and having social networks. But there are also many costs. And as an evolutionary scientist, I'm always interested in the trade-off. You have cost and benefit. How do we manage it? One of the costs of being social is getting sick. As soon as I had children, I have two kids, six years and two years. When they started Hoikwen, I became sick every month. Because my children are picking up viruses from all of their network and giving it to me. Uh, that's natural. So being sick is part of living in a social network. It's also true for Japanese mechanics. For my PhD study, I discovered that, first of all, this is grooming networks of Japanese macaques. High-ranking monkeys are in the middle. What's interesting is high-ranking monkeys also get more parasites, all right? So this is natural. Being central has a cost. So there are a lot of different types of parasites. I won't uh, spend any time with this. So we always have to consider how they move around between the population. But we've started a project to look at a lot of different types of things and how they move in social networks. They could be lice that are directly going between. They could be bacteria, which come out in your poop, all right, and end up in some other monkey's mouth, unfortunately. Uh, you might have intestinal parasites, or you might be a virus that's transmitted by biting, okay? A lot of different types of social network involved, a lot of different ways to move between individuals. These are my collaborators on this project. But we know from human studies that if you are very socially central, you probably spread disease faster. It's true for, uh, sorry? It's true for diseases that are caused by HIV and SARS, but not for Ebola. Why? If you get Ebola, you can't be social. You're already too sick, all right? So anyway, most of our uh, modern diseases can transmit very quickly if they find the right person, okay? So if you are very socially central and you have friends, tell your friends to be careful. 